Hey gang, back with another video for you today, Sunday, two days after Christmas. Hope everyone's doing well. Today, I wanted to do a video on this house, Rogue Perfumery, because the last time I did a video on their fragrances was a year ago with Dahlia, when I bought two fragrances from them. Uh, this one, Mousse Illuminae, and then also Sheep or Siam. If you haven't caught that video, please go check that video out. But recently I was surfing on Lucky Scent's website and I noticed that there was a new fougere that uh, Rogue Perfumery launched called Bon Monsieur, this one right here. So I decided to buy it and also buy Fougere Lobe, uh, this one right here. Uh, that was a, an older release. I thought it would be a great video to do a comparison video comparing these two fragrances together because they are both fougeres. And then also speak a little bit about this one as well, Mousse Illuminae, which I find to be very barbershop-y, but not necessarily fougere-y. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Either way, if you want to find out about these three fragrances from Rogue Perfumery, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today I'm talking about Rogue Perfumery's Fougere fragrances. And as I said, I am going to discuss this one as well because it does remind me of a barbershop-y fragrance. It's very foamy, but uh, Bon Monsieur was launched recently. And of course, uh, Fougere Lobe uh, was around uh, for at least a year or two. And I thought it would make a great comparison video here. And I know you guys are Fougere fans and I'm a Fougere fan. I guess I got really into fougeres uh, smelling them from uh, my dad because he used to wear them all the time. And I just love the way they smell. I love lavender to begin with. But uh, do these ones have lavender? They do have lavender, but uh, some of them don't. I think this one doesn't uh, necessarily have lavender in the notes. But these two definitely do. But they're so different in smells. They're completely different. They go in different directions and I'll, I'll let you know about them. Also, I'm going to let you know a little bit about my Aromatic Fougere t-shirt, uh, which is currently on promotion. But before I get to all that, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So who's a fan of this house Rogue Perfumery? Have you caught my video uh, speaking about Mousse Illuminae with the Sheeper Siam that I did last year. Go check it out. But I do enjoy the fragrances here uh, and because they seem a little more authentic and, and not necessarily mass marketed. Uh, there, you can tell that there's an um, artist uh, behind the scenes that's creating the fragrances and knows and loves what he does. You can see it from the work, you know, it's like definitely prominently present with the, the fragrances. Um, the first time I heard about um, Mousse Illuminae was from Dahlia. She had a smaller bottle that she had bought from Etsy and I actually brought this bottle back. I bought it at Lucky Scent Scent Bar in New York City. But I did order these myself. I bought them myself. These were not sent to me for any reviews. I paid for them myself. So I'll let you know all about them. And of course, I do want to mention my t-shirt, Aromatic Fougere t-shirt. If you're a fan of Aromatic Fougere fragrances, you might want to check this t-shirt out. Uh, it's got the beautiful fern uh, leaf on it. it fern uh, basically is uh, fougere in French and that's the fern leaf so it would make a great companion to your fougere fragrance wearing uh, days out. All right so Bon Monsieur was a recent launch uh, just recently came out that's why I picked it up uh, and this is an eau de parfum concentration but according to my notes these two are eau de toilette concentrations. The fragrances are 30 ml 85 uh, this is not a 30 ml, this is a uh, 75 ml, which is $156. They are sold at Lucky Scent, and of course, I haven't really checked uh, Rogue Perfumery's uh, website or anything, if they sell online, but they most likely do. But uh, this particular Bon Monsieur has notes of lavender, bergamot, fir balsam, oak moss, geranium, carnation, lily of the valley, cedar, patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. Now, Rogue Perfumery's Fougere Lobe has notes of lavender, oak moss, geranium, citrus, hay, galbanum, costus, musk, sandalwood, camphor, amber, Moroccan rose. So what's the difference? So for me, Rogue Perfumery's Bon Monsieur reminds me more of a fougere that I'm typically used to. Fougère Lobe actually reminds me of other fragrances, but when I first smelled it, I couldn't think of what other fragrances it reminded me of. I wore it a couple times, but 
when I first smelled it, I said, what's that candy-like smell in there? It's almost like a candied uh, fruit uh, or candied flower of some kind. Um, I was thinking, God, it's reminding me of candied violets. And then I, it came to me, I said, this one reminds me of um, Green Irish Tweed from uh, Creed. Now, I never realized that Green Irish Tweed was a fougere. It's not a traditional fougere to me. It's more of an ozonic experience. But according to the notes in this particular fragrance, there's no violet leaves. And um, the fragrance uh, Green Irish Tweed is known for violet leaves. Where is that coming from? So there must be some kind of a note in here that's giving me that uh, Green Irish Tweed-like uh, effect with the violet leaves. Otherwise... Um, I don't know where I'm getting that from. Uh, so that's what the first differences are for me. And then with this one, it's a very, very dry. I mean, both of the fragrances are very, very dry experiences. But this one relies heavily on the lavender. And also fir balsam comes in with this one. Fir balsam, so it takes it into a little bit of a piney kind of a direction. A little smelling like pine forest. But... Not so much. I think it's in there, uh, but uh, again, it's it's a fougere. It heavily relies on the lavender and, of course, the geranium note in here. But the fir balsam is definitely prominent and comes in, and it gives me the experience of the pine forest kind of an effect. There are some floral touches that come in for me as well. The patchouli is definitely prominent. Oak moss is uh, prominent in here as well. And then going back to Mousse Illumine, which is all about the oak moss, there's no lavender in here, uh, even though this one acts like a barbershop-y kind of a fragrance, more like shaving soap to me. Um, it, it, there's a foamy quality uh, about this particular fragrance. And this one is much more, much more softer than both of these fragrances. They're very, very dry experiences for me. So this one reminds me a little bit of Fougere Royale from Hubigant, but not so much. It also reminds me a little bit of Tom Ford's Beau de Jour. A little bit. But I think Tom Ford's uh, Beau de Jour does not have the fur balsam note, which I can totally pick up in here, and it, it's definitely prominent. So it's got a w very, very woodsy experience uh, for me, this particular fragrance. Now, more things about this one. This one is ultra-metallic. There's a very, very metallic touch uh, for me. Um, as soon as I smell it, it's like, not only do I go get those like violet candy-like, qualities or smells with it but also it's very very metallic it's very very sharp you can totally smell the ma metal in here and i think it's just the way the fragrance is composed uh and some notes hitting together to give you that you know almost like sharp hitting your nose uh, metallic touch um that's really really prominent but in comparison to uh Green Irish Tweed, I find Green Irish Tweed to be a lot softer than here. It's very, very herbal. It's like ultra herbal. So I think what's going on here, even though it's reminding me of Green Irish Tweed, the lavender in here and the geranium in here uh, is taking it into a little bit of a Green Irish Tweed direction, but also in, in the direction of a traditional uh, aromatic uh, fougere. Coming back to Bon Monsieur, I'm going back and forth with the two fragrances. This one is ultra intense with the lavender smell. It's extremely strong. And you can tell that the, the quality of the notes that are being used here are intensely strong and really, really true. And I like that about this particular fragrance. Out of the two, I do prefer Bon Monsieur over Fougère Lobe. Uh, I, I think this is something I really like. I love the whole herbal and uh, fir, pine, uh, all that kind of stuff mixed together. With this particular fragrance, I didn't realize it was going to go in that direction of um, smelling like Green Irish Tweed because I, I had never smelled these fragrances before. That's what I took a chance and I blind bought them. And in the end, I really do like this one. And I love the whole pungent lavender, bergamot, fir balsam, oak moss, geranium intensity of the fragrance. The carnation, yeah, I should, I should point out the carnation in here as well. There's a very, very prominent carnation note in here. It, it um, sort of reminds me of cloves. So there's a bit of a spiciness about it, a little bit rosiness about it as well that's uh, really, really jumping off of the, this particular fragrance. Very, very long lasting for me, but it's not like a, if you're looking for a beast mode kind of a fragrance, it's not that kind of a fragrance. The intensity is there. It's really intense and lasts a long time, but it's not like a very, very loud fragrance for me, but a very, very classy, very, very herbal, aromatic, 
quality, quality fragrance. If you like Fougeres, I think this one's definitely one for you to try. Um, I think if you like fragrances like Fougere Royale, uh, Bois de Jour from uh, Tom Ford, try this one. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised and satisfied with it because I think it's a great, great Fougere fragrance. Now this one, I personally don't know if this is really a Fougere. I mean, there are all the Fougere notes in there uh, and I'm, I've got some on here. I just think because it reminds me of uh, Green Irish Tweed for some odd reason, it kind of goes in a different direction for me. Uh, and it doesn't really act like it, but then it does. It's almost like a chameleon for me. It reminds me of uh, Green Irish Tweed, and then it jumps back to reminding me of a, a barbershop fragrance. So I was never a big fan of Green Irish Tweed. Um, it's not one of my favorite fragrances, although I wore plenty of uh, a clone or alternative of it back in the late 80s called... Um, Aspen from Coty uh, as a late teens kind of guy. So I got burnt out on that kind of smell. I recently refound it. Uh, and so I have a love-hate relationship with it. It's not one of my favorite, favorite fragrances. But I'm happy that they're able to accomplish that uh, green Irish tweed-like smell in here, even without having those notes that are in here. And where am I getting that candied um, violet note from? Uh, I don't know, but I'm almost thinking when I really focus on the candied violet smell, it's smelling like rose. So I think that Moroccan rose that's being used in here, when it's combined with the other notes, it's giving me this kind of like a violet, candied rose, candied violet kind of a quality with it. It's very, very interesting. But, you know, you might like this one more than the other. It depends on if you're a fan of Green Irish Tweed, uh, if you like regular Fougere fragrances that are not like Green Irish Tweed. So it's a matter of taste. Uh, the only other... Uh, issue with this one is that whole metallic touch. This one is metallic, but not like this. This one really cuts through the nose. This one does not. This one just is very, very pungent with everything. And I like that about it. You know, I like the intensity of the smells and I like the fact that I can smell everything separately. I can definitely pick out the lavender. I can pick out the bergamot. The fir balsam is definitely there. Uh, the oak moss is there. It's blended in a way that you can smell it together and then also smell it separately, which is what I like about this particular fragrance. And I, you know, I do want to point out the bottles are really, really awesome looking as well. As you can see, the color of the juice is great too. And I think it's a very, very classy quality offerings, you know, from an indie house. One more thing, the logos and the, the print work on them is very, very art deco. And I love that whole concept about this brand. Now, going back to Mousse Illuminé, Mousse Illuminé for me um, acts like a barbershop fragrance, but more about the foam, the soap, the shaving soap that you use. It's not using traditional notes of um, the... Um, lavender and geranium in here. It's mostly about the oak moss with, you know, some frankincense, some green cypress, and a few other notes that come in. So it's a completely different fragrance, but it's a lot smoother and a, a lot foamier and creamier than the other two fragrances where they are on the dry side. And there's also a sweetness about this one. In fact, this one's sweet. Of course, as I said, I have that violet candy-like sweetness in here. There is some sweetness in here. And I think uh, Bon Monsieur is the least sweet out of all three of them for me. At least that's uh, what I experienced. But overall, it's a great house with great fragrances. And these are definitely the barbershop-y style of fragrances for men from this house. I'm not sure if these are targeted unisex. I think anything is unisex. But for me, these three fragrances definitely are leaning masculine and are great, great, uh, classy, classy men's fragrances. Anyway, those are my thoughts on these two fragrances. I know I was jumping around a little bit because uh, I was trying to do the comparison of the two fragrances. The fact that they're both Fougeres, both from the same house, and um, they're completely different smelling fragrances. But I wanted to do that and I wanted to discover more of the fragrances. I know the collection is really, really big. There's a lot of great fragrances I'd love to explore, but these were recent pickups, as I said, and I'm really enjoying. I mean, no, I, I'm not, I don't hate this one. As I said, I have that love-hate relationship with Green Irish Tweed, but I'm liking it. Even it's the fact that it's metallic and I'm still liking it. I like the whole sharpness about it. And as soon as I pick up that, candy-like smell in here. It's a happy fragrance for me. Either way, those are my thoughts on Bon Monsieur and uh, Fougère Lobe from the house of uh, Rogue Perfumery and also Mousse Illuminé, this one right here. 
Guys, uh, let me know what you think about these two fragrances. Have you sampled them? And are you a fan of this particular house? Uh, have you discovered their fragrances? Uh, they are sold at Lucky Scent, as I said, and probably uh, maybe one or two other, um, I don't know, retailers. I know uh, I was told that Etsy sells the fragrances as well. So they are California based as well, which is a cool thing. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video on Bon Monsieur Fougère Love Mousse Illumine from the House of Rogue Perfumery. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Oh, hey, don't forget my t-shirt. It's right here. Aromatic Fougère. You love aromatic fougeres, you love this shirt. Thanks guys, have a good one, goodbye.